What's up guys, Sal here, so we're right around the corner for the unpacked event for the S23 lineup. We know literally everything there is to know about the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but we've got a new leak today that will make you say, Damn! as you and even your dog know at this point that the highlighting feature of the S23 Ultra is going to be its 200 megapixel camera. A lot of people thought this new upgrade was going to be a gimmick at best and nothing more but they couldn't be more wrong. As you can see, this is uploaded from the same person who has been the center of all the recent S23 Ultra camera leaks. And just look at the quality. This is not taken from the 10X optical zoom camera, but from the main 200 megapixel camera on the S23 Ultra. And he's zooming in from the captured image. It's equivalent to capturing from the dedicated zoom camera, zooming in 70x to 100x, which is insane. So basically, this means you have two zooming options on the S23 Ultra. One from the dedicated zoom lens and another from 200 megapixel camera after you've taken the photo, which in some cases is more convenient. And the zoom quality aside, the overall image also looks amazing. The colors, the HDR, the details, everything is on point. And besides, he posted this on Twitter, which compresses the quality. In reality, this image is even more impressive and honestly can't wait to check it out. Moving on, one of the big upgrades for the S23 lineup is the new UFS 4.0 storage, which offers twice the speed as the UFS 3.1 on the S22 lineup. And not only that, it consumes 46% less power compared to 3.1. Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five? Well, this basically means the new tech will improve the speed at which your phone launches apps and saves files to your storage while consuming almost 50% less power, thereby increasing the battery life. Now, the problem here is not all the S23 variants will get the UFS 4.0 tech. Specifically, the 128GB version of the S23 will get last year's UFS 3.1 storage speeds. Both the S23 Plus and S23 Ultra are starting from 256GB and they will get UFS 4.0 speeds. Since the regular S23 is starting from 128GB, it will get the inferior tech. So if you don't want to make any compromise, then you need to opt for the 256GB version of the S23. Also, Corning confirmed that all the S23 variants will indeed get the new Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection, which offers even more shadow resistance while featuring the same scratch resistance. Of course, I'll make sure to cover each and every S23 update even after the unpacked event, so do consider subscribing for that. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.